Hello and welcome to another in a series of technical presentations from Contactum Limited. My name is Alan Broom and I'm the technical support manager for Contactum. I'm very pleased to be able to showcase the Defender One range of consumer units to you today. So starting with a bit of a recap. In January 2015, the IET launched the 17th edition of the wiring regulations. Within this new document was the inclusion of a new regulation regarding the construction and the use of consumer units installed to domestic dwellings. The new 18th edition of the wiring regulations came into effect on the 1st of January 2019, and this regulation is now standardised in this and future editions. The regulation we are concerned with is this one, Regulation 421.1.201. This regulation specifically applies to consumer units installed into domestic dwellings, and it states that within domestic household premises, consumer units and similar switchgear assemblies shall comply with BSEN 61439-3 and shall have their enclosures manufactured from non-combustible material or be enclosed in a cabinet or enclosure constructed of non-combustible material and complying with regulation 132.12 and the note here says ferrous metal for example steel is deemed to be an example of non-combustible material. As a manufacturer of consumer units and circuit protection we have had to react and adapt our product range to service market and regulatory demands and supply compliant products to the highest safety standards. These requirements include the following. Consumer units installed must now conform to the latest requirements of BS 7671-2018, the 18th edition of the wiring regulations. Consumer units must be designed and tested to meet the requirements of BS EN 61439-3, including a dedicated 16,000 amp short circuit type test in accordance with Annex ZB. The INA current rating of the consumer unit must not exceed the upstream supply authority fuse. All circuits in domestic properties should now generally be covered by 30 milliamp RCD protection unless the cables are protected by other special installation practices. Devices and components installed in the consumer unit shall only be those declared suitable by the consumer unit manufacturer. Products must be CE marked and this is soon to become UKCA and the manufacturer's instructions must be provided and left with the householder, preferably adjacent to the consumer unit. Contactum also highly recommend the following features to guarantee quality, safety, and as far as is reasonably practical, to future-proof consumer units for further advances in safety and electrical standards. So recommendation number one. Obtain an independent type test certificate for the consumer unit from the manufacturer to guarantee compliance. Non-compliant products could be dangerous and have severe consequences. As a responsible manufacturer, contact and enlist third party laboratories to independently type test and certify our consumer units. This ensures installers and specifiers have the confidence and assurance that our products are compliant with the relevant standards. We believe all manufacturers should employ this strategy to ensure safety across the industry. Without certification, the enclosure cannot be classed as a consumer unit, and more importantly, it cannot realistically be installed in the UK in a domestic household or similar installation. Type test certificates for Defender consumer units can be downloaded from our website. Recommendation number two. Type A RCDs and RCBOs should be provided as standard for the types of electrical devices we now connect in our homes. It's true to say that for most applications, type AC devices are suitable, but today it's more widely accepted that type A devices are now installed as standard. Our home environments are changing at a rapid pace, and the growth of electronic devices being placed on electrical installations requires a more suitable protective monitoring device to cope with the new demands and changes in the potential rises in DC earth leakage currents. Type A RCDs and RCBOs are used to protect circuits where equipment with electronic components are installed, such as inverters, class one IT equipment, power supplies for class two equipment, lighting equipment, including dimmers and LED drivers, 
induction hobs, and PCs, TVs and games consoles, which are found in most UK households today. Type A RCDs can be used in place of Type AC devices. Also, just to note, our part numbers here now include the letter A to denote Type A devices. Type A RCDs and RCBOs are suitable for electric vehicle charging equipment with a rated smooth residual DC current of less than 6 milliamps. The standardised use of Type A devices supplied in contact and consumer units provides compatibility for the majority of EV car chargers likely to be connected to the installation in the future. Recommendation number three. Subdivision of circuits by the use of RCBOs is recommended to help avoid unwanted nuisance tripping on grouped circuits. This is also especially useful for the end user, meaning that only one outgoing circuit is affected by a tripping occurrence, leaving the rest of the circuits fully operational. The use of RCBOs also makes fault finding much easier as again, only one circuit is affected. Recommendation number four. Contactum offer from stock a range of solutions for when surge protection is required, including retrofit kit solutions, a standalone enclosed unit, or factory fitted into all configurations of our Defender consumer units. Part numbers ending with the suffix SPMS come with a pre-fitted surge device. Surge protection devices should be installed for overvolted protection of highly sensitive and expensive electronic equipment which may be connected to the fixed wiring of the installation and also for compliance of home insurance requirements. The regulations are clear on surge protection and it states, protection against over voltages shall be provided or a risk assessment must be performed. There is an exception for single dwelling units where the total value of the installation and equipment therein does not justify such protection. It's unlikely that the value of an installation and the equipment therein will not justify the cost of surge protection. However, should there be an exception, an assessment should be carried out to determine the advantages against cost, but ultimately it will be at the property owner's choice. Recommendation number five. Traditionally, the ratings of main switches and residual current circuit breakers in consumer units have been determined by installers using the diversity method. Consideration must now be given to overload protection of these devices and coordination of the upstream fuse. Contact and Defender consumer units have clear guidance for the INA rating of the consumer unit inside the lid. Recommendation number six. Where dual RCD configurations are installed, we recommend coloured toggles on miniature circuit breaker devices for easy identification of the circuit rating by tenants or unskilled ordinary persons. Recommendation number seven, a magnetic securing or latched top hinged lid to ensure it remains closed during normal usage as this aids the containment of fire. Here are the features and benefits of the Defender range of consumer units from Contactum. It's a comprehensive range of single phase consumer units compliant with the 18th edition of the wiring regulations. They are tested in accordance with BSEN 61439-3, including a 16KA short circuit test to Annex ZB. They boast a modern slick design, which is suitable for all installations. The range comprises of 10 different enclosure sizes and up to 22 module boards are available. Boards can also be combined to increase the number of outgoing ways. We have maximised the cable space and provided an extensive number of cable entry points to allow for easier installation. Comprehensive user instructions and high quality sub circuit identification labels are supplied with every board. They have an IP4X rated degree of protection. Flexible high integrity board configurations allow for optimal combinations of RCDs, MCBs and RCBO use. Pre-populated versions are also available. All units have a secure hinge design where the lid stays closed during normal use and locking kits are available as an option. The knockouts comprise of a mixture of 32, 25 and 20 millimeter on all four sides and 54 by 40 millimeter oval knockouts on the base. Contactum produce four variants of consumer units. 
The DD version consists of a switch disconnect incomer rated up to 100 amps from 2 to 20 outgoing ways with or without surge protection. This unit would normally be used with RCBOs to protect the outgoing circuits. The DR version uses a Class A RCD as its main incomer. These units are rated up to 80 amps from 2 outgoing ways to 20 ways with or without surge. This unit would use MCBs to protect the outgoing circuits. DS split load consumer units incorporate a switch disconnect as its main incomer rated at 100 amps and a class A RCD up to 80 amps from eight outgoing ways to 18 ways with or without surge. RCBOs and MCBs would be used as protection of the outgoing circuits here. DDS dual split high integrity consumer units incorporate a 100 amp main incomer disconnect switch and two class A RCDs up to 80 amps from 6 ways to 16 ways with or without surge. A range of accessories are available for the Defender range of consumer units from standalone garage and surge protection units through to rear mounting brackets and general accessories. The rear mounting brackets are especially useful if the contractor wants to bring all cables into the back of the consumer unit for a neater installation. So in conclusion, the Defender range offers consumer units which comply to the 18th edition of the wiring regulations. Consumer units which have been tested by a reputable third party. Consumer units which are always populated with Class A RCDs. Consumer units designed and manufactured not in China, but by Contactum's parent company, Alphanar. Special configurations are possible via our London factory, with a comprehensive range of accessories available to satisfy any project requirement. So on behalf of Contactum, I'd like to thank you for your time today. Should you need any documentation in regards to the Defender range, please feel free to download the 2021 catalogue from our website. Should you have a technical inquiry for Defender or any other contactant product, please email me at the address on the screen and I will assist you where I can. Thank you very much for watching.